feels like it's been forever. It's good to see you. Hopefully you are all well. Um, we're going to do a quick qigong practice, just get our bodies moving, kind of move that healing energy through our bodies, wake our joints up. I feel really good this morning, so welcome, welcome in, come on in and join me. Um, <clears throat> I just realized I'm still wearing my glasses. <laughs> Normally I do not stream with my glasses, um, just because it gets a little annoying when I'm doing the qigong moves as well as the glare from the ring light <laughs> usually bothers me, but um, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do Qigong in glasses today. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I was so tired today. I was like, uh, I was supposed to clock in at 10, 10.30 or something I was scheduled for, and I took the first couple hours off because I was like, I just need, I just need sleep. I need a lot of sleep. I need like two more days worth of sleep. Um, but that's okay. We're here now. So get comfortable, get in comfy clothes, get a yoga mat, just throw on sweats and a sweatshirt basically. Um, you can do this in PJs. That's what I'm usually doing this in. Morning broomstick. Glad to see you. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Welcome in. Um, just letting everyone know to get comfortable. Just finished meditating when I went live. Oh my gosh, oh, they tried so hard. <laughs> Darn it. Butt spot, you're trying so hard. <laughs> they tried to set up the bots. I clearly did not set that one up right. Um, we'll fix it. <laughs> oh good. Stream Elements is letting us know that we're live. <laughs> Shoot, is that what the, that's what my stream title is? Thank you, Stream Elements. For letting me know that I'm completely, completely did not update that at all. <laughs> Who's, who did that? Um, that's really silly. Okay, here we go. We're not making a grilled cheese today. I'm sorry to disappoint. I don't even know. It's not Saturday afternoon anymore. Um, Probably just do the morning qigong practice. I'm thinking. Don't need to be in freedom think anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm really tired. Okay, let's we will update that information. Hopefully that's a little better. <laughs> hello, hello. It's not Saturday. It's not, and hopefully it's better now. I just updated it. <laughs> just realized that I was like wow now I'm hungry yeah I was like shoot there's no grilled cheese happening today I mean there probably will be just not at this exact moment oh <laughs> I was like you can't hear me is my sound bad and then I was like oh, I see I see what you did there have fun working and lurking throw sandwiches around have sammies <laughs> brooms feeding the feeding the flock thanks brooms <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm so sleepy. Elon was a maniac this weekend. His sleep schedule was worse than it's ever been, I think. Um, just because he took some really long naps and then woke up at like one, like two nights ago now, he woke up at 9 p.m. Or not 9, sorry, 7, 7.30 p.m. or something crazy from his nap. And I thought like, okay, we'll get up, we'll eat dinner. I'm still, I took a nap with him, so I was like, I'm still super tired, we'll just eat some food and go back to sleep. This child was up. He didn't crawl into bed with me. Okay, I'm already, I already, I went to bed. I was like, I'm done, I'm tired. I went to bed. He finally fell asleep out here, I think. Or, I don't, I hope so. And then crawled into bed with me at like 5 a.m. I was like, dude, stop, this is crazy. You cannot be like, 
oh, he's such a night owl. But I used to be like that as a kid, too. Um, there are so many nights that I would stay up till like, 3, 4 in the morning that my parents didn't know about. I'd just be, like, up watching weird shows on TV. <laughs> the good old days before Netflix, when you could only watch what was actually showing on the TV screen. And you're checking the TV guide, like, hoping that something's good on. So I'm like, oh, this sounds interesting. Let me go over to channel 47. Grilled cheese are a great, great snack. Um, great way to start the day. <laughs> it's like, that's even pretty much a breakfast sandwich, right? Like grilled cheese. If you wanted, you could throw an egg on it. Eggs are a lot of fat, so I usually don't eat a lot of eggs. My belly can handle it. Um, but yeah, breakfast sandwich, delicious, done. Grilled cheese, egg, <laughs> bread. So many infom so many infomercials. It's like, well, and not only that, but like you'd be watching something that you're like, this sounds kind of interesting, like Magic Shark. What's this about? So then you're watching it, and you're like, oh my god, this is like a four hour long infomercial. Like this isn't a movie about a magic shark, <laughs> right? Anybody else? Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously though. Like, the kids of today will never understand. Like, I spent so much time, dang it, I need to fix that butt spot. Butt spot, I should have just left you saying the word butts because that was funny. Egg, cheese, and ham. Mm hmm yum, done so. Check, delicious. Checkmate, done. Rip, rip magic shark. <laughs> rip my childhood. <laughs> oh my god, y'all, so funny. I feel so good. I rearranged the living room today. All the toys that used to be down here are now over there. <laughs> now they're in the shop. Perfect. <laughs> but at least I have room for my feet, which is really nice. All right. Well, hopefully that updated. Did that update my, my stream details? Because it looks like it didn't. At least it looks like it didn't on my stream. Yeah, you could use bacon. You could use... I honestly, um, my family never really ate like breakfast meats. We never had sausages or bacon. Like it was just not something we ever bought or ate. Um, and I just recently realized how much I love it. It's delicious. <laughs> so delicious. Um, so yeah, I have bacon and breakfast sausage. I've been doing just like breakfast. Like I'll do a couple hash browns, like some potatoes or something, and then couple breakfast sausages and just like eat that for dinner <laughs> while I'm working. I'm like, this is quick and easy and delicious. I know, hash browns, you can get them at Aldi and like the big hash brown patties, like they sell it um, in the PBs. But yeah, they have like the big hash brown patties. You can get like, I love potatoes, exactly. Live on potatoes, everyone. If you want the weight loss secret of the world, just eat potatoes. <laughs> so good for you. <laughs> Um, my dad is actually big into the starch, uh, healthy starch diet, so there's a lot of uh, truth to it, for sure. He's a 60-year-old marathon runner, so he spends a lot of time reading about health and learning about health, and he's like, I think I have Kato Cox in the fleece of Kato Cox. Oh my god, why is that so adorable? It's so cute. Um, all right. Well, I'm ready to do, I know I always have to talk about food, like my, whether I'm in a stream or just chatting in chat land, I'm like always talking about food. Yeah, they're so good, right? Like, who knew how simple food could be? Potatoes and greens. Yum. Yes, exactly. That's literally my dad's diet. He eats like kale, kale and starches. Like, it's so, I mean, he like, like I said. If he can run marathons with that, like he came over the other day, he's like, I just ran seven miles this morning. And I'm like, I'd be asleep. And he's like, that's why I took a nap. I was like, oh my God, you're a maniac. Ooh, air fryer, brooms, why did I not think of that? I have an air fryer that I hardly, I just got it. So I hardly ever remember to use it. Um, but yeah, even if you get like French toast sticks, um, like we sometimes do the, just the frozen French toast sticks, which I wouldn't recommend, honestly. You can make French toast. They're so cheap and so simple. Um, but they're so easy just to throw in the air fryer and fry up some French toast sticks, and then they're, like, light and fluffy and delicious. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm 
just found my food box. <laughs> Holy cow. This is making me hungry. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun, honestly, and super simple. Like, on, um, I know, I don't put, I don't know if I should say this out loud, if I should admit this out loud, but I don't put any oil in mine. I didn't even, like, own oil until, I had to just buy some the other day, some olive oil. Um, but yeah, I never, I don't use oil in mine. I find that mine seems to be okay without it. If that's bad, I don't know if that's bad, but, um, I mean, it just, usually I'm using it for like two minutes just to heat things up. So I haven't had any issues with it. If I'm doing like French fries or like, um, potato wedges or something, like I will do like the tablespoon of oil, like they say, but when it's like frozen food, that's already, you know, cooked and kind of greasy and whatnot, I feel like I probably don't need it. But if it's a deep fryer, oh my God, yum. Dude, we never had an oil. I loved, I loved frying everything. I used to, um, we used to just do it on the stove, like just heat up oil in a big pan. Hi, Hollow. I love that emote so much. Um, thanks for bringing me back. <laughs> Let's do some Qigong. Um, yeah, we used to just fry things in a big pan, um, and we used to make these things that my dad called chip chops, but we're, well, the family of golfers, so that was a funny joke. <laughs> chip chop. Um, that's like when you scoop a little bit of grass up and like eat it. Um, or it's just a short little shot. I don't know that golf anymore. My brain is a million miles away. But so we used to do just like sliced up potatoes and deep fry them or fry them in like two inches of oil. So delicious. Make little like crispy. They're pretty much like kettle chips, really like a little bit thicker kettle chips. Um, oh my God. Anything with potatoes. I'm a sucker for potatoes. Oh, some of the things are working. Look at everyone. We set up a bot. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe it? I can't. Um, D Lennox, if you guys don't know D yet, um, one of my mods, really phenomenal human being all around. Um, I actually just did, I was like, dude, as soon as I met this guy, you know how you just meet people and you're like, this is somebody I've knew, I've known before. Like, we're just so comfortable. You're just like, what? Like, who are you? What the heck? Where did you come from? And so I was like, okay, you need to download this app. <laughs> of course, I'm like, I gotta figure this out. So have them download the pattern app. And sure enough, we do have past life connections, past life friends, past life karmic links, and like some kind of like friends in a past life or something like that. God, those phrases. They were so good though. I was like, okay, this makes perfect sense. So helped me last night set up the bot because I was putting it off. I was just going to go to bed early, which actually he was like, just go to bed. I'll set up the bot, which he did. But I was like, I don't want to see this. <laughs> so I pretty much set almost nothing up on this. I had to like, I added in a couple things like here and there. But um, for the most part, D set up that bot, which was really awesome. Um, so you will see like little blurbs come through reminding you to like, um, the brooms I took a little bit, I totally use your idea of like reminding people throughout to like roll their shoulders back, take a deep breath, like stretch, drink some water. So um, I do have, the mic is a little bit tilted down, so hopefully that helps a little bit. I do, I need to get a new mic. That's my other thing. I bought this one secondhand and I wish I wouldn't have because I could just buy a whole new one for I bought this one for 30 bucks. I could buy a whole new one for 69.99. And I was like, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I should have just bought a brand new one because I am using my audio so much. I want a good microphone. That's like the one thing I really do want to invest in. And this is a road, like it's not a, it's a good brand. It's just like, you never know like how good it is when you buy it from someone else, right? Um, especially when it is something like this audio, like I couldn't really test it when I bought it from her. Um, so that kind of sucked, but neither here nor there. So, um, <laughs> so sorry about the audio. Long story long. Um, I am hoping to invest in a good microphone. That's the next plan. Um, I'm just picky. I'm real picky. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, you're on break. Yes. Sweet. Good. Let's do our practice. 
Um, do a few moves with Asanka if you have like if you got a little bit of time. Uh, get some food though. Get some get some water. Take care of yourself, of course. Um, but yes, we are going to do a few moves. Do our qigong practice. So get comfortable. Oh my God, there's so many dead nuts. Look at that. I need a stand for this phone. Okay. So we start with just taking some nice deep breaths. The sound, you should be able to hear this. This is gonna be loud. <laughs> Begin by bringing both hands over your lower abdomen and taking some nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Let me know if that sound is too loud. Oh my god, yes! Pokemon community game! Pokemon community game, everyone. We can play Pokemon while we catch all the Pokemon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, you got a level five chest bin for a starter. Nice. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Yeah, if you've already started it, um, even in another stream, it will count here. <laughs> distracting me from my video I don't know why that distracted me but it did so we're getting comfortable we're ready if the sound is too loud oh look you guys are all starting your Pokemon journey yeah so then you do exclamation pokey cash you can do exclamation pokey shop and buy pokey balls um, you can go on Pokemon Community Game Discord, and in the Poke Daily section, you can type hashtag Poke Daily and get new things every day. Um, boom, there you go. I love that it tells you how to how to set it up. So there, <laughs> I love Pokemon Community Game. I'm super into it. I just started playing Pokemon Go this um, summer, and I think it's just so fun, so much fun. So <laughs> all right, we're gonna do our morning practice. Allow the abdomen to expand. We're gonna wake our joints up. <laughs> oh man, oh, I got it. <laughs> okay, how's the sound? Is the sound way too loud? Um, is it good? You guys hear all right? Hello, Inarison. Glad to see you. Sounds good to you. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I did move the speaker closer as well, so. Hopefully this helps a little bit also. Lando. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome in. Huzzah. Eight ball. Idios. Okay, Anka, just ask the eight ball, uh, will I catch a Pokemon? <laughs> See if the universe is honest. <laughs> Wait, does it not just answer you right there? How does this work? Oh my god, we got a new follower. Welcome in. It's a doggy dog world. <laughs> He's cute. That's super cute. Oh my gosh, I need to fix my butt spot. I'm sorry, y'all. What an embarrassment. <laughs> butt spot trying so hard out here. It said I will be successful, yes. That's what I like to hear. Catch those Pokemon. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do this, y'all. I'm super excited. So, starting off with nice deep breaths. I'm gonna tilt this up so y'all can see me. Begin by bringing both hands over your lower abdomen and taking some nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Allow the abdomen to expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, move the abdomen towards the spine. Deep abdominal breathing is a great way to begin any Qigong practice and a fabulous way to start your day. Again, inhale, allow the abdomen to expand, full deep breath, and exhale.
exhale, allow the abdomen to move towards the spine and cleanse and clear. Now step out with the feet shoulder width. Take both palms together by your chest in prayer position. And then inhale and expand and open the chest, pulling the arms to your sides. Exhale, bring the hands back to prayer position. Inhale and pull the shoulder blades together. Exhale, sink the chest. The lungs are said to be the commanders of chi. And by breathing deeply, you influence the body's internal. Sorry, I'll, I'm gonna go back a bit. Just and by bringing I... both hands over your lower abdomen and taking some nice, long, Got a little slow, deep breaths. There. Allow the abdomen to expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, move the abdomen towards the spine. Deep abdominal breathing is a great way to begin any Qigong practice and a fabulous way to start your day. Again, inhale, allow the abdomen to expand, full deep breath. And exhale, allow the abdomen to move towards the spine and cleanse and clear. Now step out with the feet shoulder width. Take both palms together by your chest in prayer position. And then inhale and expand and open the chest, pulling the arms to your sides. Exhale, bring the hands back to prayer position. Inhale and pull the shoulder blades together. Exhale, sink the chest. The lungs are said to be the commanders of chi, and by breathing deeply, you influence the body's internal energy. So again, inhale and open the chest, pull the shoulder blades together, bringing more energy to the front of the lungs. Exhale, sink the chest, and bringing energy to the back of the lungs. This helps to balance yin and yang energy through the body and brings in more energy and vitality, not only to the lungs, but to the rest of the body as well. From here, we'll go into an exercise called spinal cord breathing. Inhale and open your chest and exhale and round your back. Synchronize the breath with the movement as a way to bring more liveness and more mobility into your spine. Inhale, open the chest, round the back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under and bring energy to the low back. Spinal cord breathing brings awake and alive energy into your nervous system to start each day with more mental clarity and physical vitality. Deepen your breath a little bit more now. Exhale and round your back. And inhale and open the chest, moving just a little bit quicker to bring that aliveness and warmth into the spine. And inhale, now turn to your right and twist. Exhale, come to the center. And inhale and turn to the left. Just bring in a spinal twist into this exercise, opens the back a little bit deeper, helps the muscles to stretch, and opens all the joints from the low back all the way up through your neck and shoulders. Inhale and twist. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under and stretch through the hips. Deep breathing and spinal movement. It warms up your body, prepares you for a good day of vitality, mental focus, and alive energy. And relax the hands down to your sides. Start a movement here called knocking on the door of life. Just turn and twist from your hips and your waist, gently at first. Relax your neck and shoulders and move from your center. Relaxation is a key principle to Qigong. Now gathering a little momentum, allow your arms to knock across your lower back and across your lower abdomen. This will stimulate key pressure points for vitality as well as enliven your spine. Now start to shift the weight, left and right, opening your hips and strengthening your legs. This will wake up your body. We say that knocking on the door of life gives your body a lightning flash of vitality to start each day with that chi and life force energy at full force. Now allow the front hand to knock across the chest while the back hand knocks across the lower back. So the front hand will stimulate lung points to deepen the breath and actually help to increase your immune system and more energy. Now bring the hands back to the lower back, stimulating the door of life. Taking some deep breaths into the lower abdomen. And feel how this movement not only stretches your spine, but it stimulates these pressure points 
It's a way to do self acupressure for deeper healing and more vitality. Slowly let yourself unwind, come back to a place of being centered. Take a nice deep breath. And then place both hands over the knees, lean forward, keep your arms straight and turn and look over your right shoulder. Take a couple of deep breaths into your rib cage. Feel that space between the rib cage and the spine opening. Spinal twist is a great way in the morning to bring that flexibility and fluidity into your spine. Use your breath and the stretch together. Coming to the center and then turning over the left shoulder. Press away with that right arm as a way to deepen the stretch. Breathe deeply into the rib cage. As you exhale, you can twist just a little further into that stretch. Inhale into the ribs, exhale, twist just a little further. Feel that vitality and energy being soaked up through all the discs and joints in the spine. And slowly come back to the center. Take your hands to the back of the legs and begin massaging your hamstrings. These are lines of tension that influence the low back. Next, make little circles behind your knees and then from the knees down to the lower part of the legs, through the calves. And then take a deep breath and just hang forward. We'll go into a movement called full body flow. We're gonna roll up and take the hands up over the head and exhale and come forward with the legs straight. Bend the knees and roll up and inhale and stretch. Exhale forward and stretch down. Full body flow is a way to open all the major muscles in the body. It's a great way to start the day with more flexibility and openness in the body. You'll feel good, loose, and relaxed as you start your day. Again, inhale as the arms come up, and exhale as you stretch forward. Feel how that opens the spine, the hips, the back of the legs. Turn to your right now and reach up down. Take a deep breath into that right hamstring. Feel that line of tension open. And then come across to the left leg. Take a deep breath here. Stretch heads towards the knee. The legs are straight or as straight as you can comfortably. One more deep breath. And reach up and back, turning the hips to the left down to the left leg and flow. Come across to the right. Inhale and reach up and back, turning the hips to the right. Exhale, come down to the right leg, across to the left. Inhale, reach up and back. And then come to the center. Bring the hands down in prayer position by the heart. And then take them up over the head with the fingers interlocked. Bend your knees deeply and then stand up tall and reach through the arms and the hands. Bend the knees deeply, feel that strength and power in your legs. Good, opening the chest and the arm. Exhale and come back down. And then return to the center. Roll up, bring the hands up over the head and gently push the hands down. Bring the hands up over the head. This is called the arm swings. We're going to bring the arms behind us in a really relaxed way, just dropping from the shoulders. There's a little pumping action from the legs where the knees bend and straighten. The inhale is up, and the exhale is back. We take energy into the lungs and then send it to the low back as the arms go behind you. This is a medical Qigong exercise for low back tension. It wakes up your kidneys and adrenal glands and circulates energy through the body. Synchronize the movement of the arms with the legs. So as the arms go back behind you, the legs straighten, pump and circulate. Inhale the arms up and exhale back. In Qigong, these movements are called invigorating exercises. Invigorating the Qi means it increases circulation, blood flow and life force energy. Good and slow it down. And next we'll do a breathing exercise called reverse breathing. Bring your hands over your kidneys and we're going to reverse the breath. So instead of expanding into the lower abdomen, we're expanding into the lower back and massaging the kidneys and adrenal glands 
bringing that good chi flow into the kidneys and the kidney meridian. So as you inhale, the kidneys expand. As you exhale, the whole area relaxes. Take one more deep breath. Come down. Good. Take a nice deep breath. And then we'll go into a chi massage. So bring your hands to your lower back and start knocking lightly over the kidneys, the low back, and the tailbone. Tapping with your knuckles to stimulate those pressure points. And then turn so the palms are slapping on the low back. Go down the outside of your legs. This follows the Yang meridian lines. And then come up the inside of the legs. Do that again from the kidneys down the outside of the legs. And come up the inside of the legs. Good. Now bring the hands up to the chest and knock over the sternum, the lungs, and the heart. Now bring your right hand out to your side and your left hand tapping and slapping down the inside of the arm. And then it comes up the outside of the arm to the neck and shoulders. So those pathways of energy flow from the chest down the inside of the arm and then come up the outside of the arm and roll over the shoulder. Good, tapping the center of the chest and then going to the other side. So the left arm extends out, the right arm tapping the chest flowing down the inside of the arm and up the outside of the arm to the neck and shoulders from the chest down the inside this follows the pathway and flows of chi in the body come back to the center of the chest and brush it down the next exercise is a balance exercise so stand on your left leg and circle the right foot this exercise works on strengthening the leg that you're standing on so feel the lower muscles of the left leg working and this nice openness and flexibility starting to move into the right heel and ankle. Bring the right leg back and now lift the left leg. Circle that left ankle and heel. Feel the openness through the lower leg. If you can't go ahead and circle the ankle in both directions Feeling that openness, moving through those meridians and energy points in the heel, the foot, and the lower leg. Come back to the center. And we'll do an exercise called the crane soaring. So stand on your left leg and begin to wave the arms up and down Hi, as if you're floating in the air. What's going on here? When you're ready, we'll pause crane soaring for a minute. Oh no, I turned off spam caps. What the heck? Spirit, I'm so sorry. Nightbot's so rude. I even told Nightbot, caps are allowed. Emotes are allowed. <laughs> Darn it, Holly, I'm so sorry. Oh, bots, bots are so rude. Welcome in, raiders. Darn, Holly, I was gonna raid you. <laughs> now who am I supposed to raid? <laughs> no, it's so good to see you all. Welcome in, I hope your stream was wonderful. Um, I did. I was so excited to catch, to see you on this morning. I was like, if I jump in there, I won't stream myself. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Well, I'm so sorry about the caps lock thing. A little awkward. <laughs> We're still learning over here. Um, but I specifically remember not selecting that because I was like, no, nah, I love caps. <laughs> caps lock is cruise control for fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone said that the other day in a chat and I cried laughing. <laughs> Bots always be tripping. Exactly. That's why I wanted to just avoid them altogether. I was like, we don't need them. No. Now look at now look what you've done, bots. <laughs> anyway, so sorry you guys. So much love to you. Just know you know you don't get timed out here. Sheesh. You gotta be you gotta be really asking some outrageous things to get timed out here. Bots need to keep their butts in line. Yeah, I even got butt spot, and butt spot's not even doing its job. <laughs> Darn it. Holly, I'm so sorry. Let me fix. How do I fix that? I need my mods in here. Dang it. Dang it. I just got your message. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll try to fix it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, crap, you guys. <laughs> um. Okay, where was I? Holly, Holly, are you stuck, timed out for real? I can't, can I untime you out? How do I do that? 
about it. Rips. Absolutely no information on your phone at all. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Activity feed. Darn it, that's not in there either. Chat. Darn it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brooms. You're on it. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, why can't I do anything at all from my phone? <laughs> Thanks, Hollow. Whoever did that, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mods saving the day, as usual. Blessings to the mods. Mods, I owe you all um, a meal and lots of love. <laughs> yeah, I even turned off, because I love emotes and, and caps. I love caps lock. <laughs> oh man, thanks Holly, welcome in. Thanks for your raid. Sorry that my bots are so rude. This is our first day with bots, everyone. <laughs> We're still getting to know each other. Um, I will get that fixed. Glad you're in. Eight minutes? What kind of crap is that? Thank you. Yeah, if you need to go, no worries at all. Um, I know that you just had a stream, so hopefully you're getting some breakfast. We talked about hash browns already and breakfast, so we support all the eating around here. I wouldn't let you do I know the love and light raid with the hearts and the love and light. And then everyone in my bot was just like, no love and light around these parts. So rude. Pete's coffee, yum! <gasps> Yay, that sounds lovely. Oh my gosh, have the best time. The shout out command. It's operational! I know! I know, Spirit! I did a thing! Ta-da! I almost, it wasn't even exactly me. It was me and my friend Dee who really helped me set it up. Oh, because yesterday I had Elin like all day. And then his dad came to pick him up and so he had a total meltdown. So then his dad was like, well, if he's just going to take a nap, I'll let him nap here with you. So then I got another, like, three, three hours of Elin when I was supposed to be streaming yesterday afternoon. Oh, so then I didn't get to stream. Then Elin didn't nap. Then he had another meltdown with it when his dad came the next time to get him. Um, and I was like, I'm, you're not, you can't leave him here again just because he's throwing a fit. Like, and then I can't, I got no sleep last night. Like, I can't do it. I was... Cause we went, so we went to bed at like what five or six in the morning, right? And then he woke up at like nine a.m. Like we didn't go to bed two hours before that. He just woke up ready to go, and I was like, "Dude, no!" So we had a full day, full weekend, uh, full weekend, very little sleep. <laughs> so my brain is just like blah. Um, so that's why I wanted to stream with him, but he was just not in a mood to. It was just, it was a rough. It was the, probably the roughest weekend I've ever had with him, really. We had a great time. Like, I love him. We had we had so much fun, but he was just um, just tired, tired and hungry all weekend, and he didn't, he just didn't want to stop playing, so we kind of were struggling. <laughs> yes, and honestly, like I put in those messages, hello, I do appreciate you all being here. Like, your time is so valuable to me, and the fact that you spend it here is, it just like warms my heart, and I hope that this practice helps you. So, we're going to finish it up. Um, oh my goodness. Um, thank you for your patience. Thanks for coming in here. Thanks for being here. We are about halfway through our practice right now. So we have about 15 minutes left. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because Mercury just went... Mercury's retrograde ended. Or did Venus's... Mercury's ended first? In the, I don't even know, actually. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm definitely feeling, I've been feeling a lot of emotions, but in a really good way, like recognizing um, that like the emotions that I felt for my ex, February 4th. Oh, nice. Okay, good. So that is coming up too. I knew it was happening soon. Um, but like even just recognizing like that emotions can be there and can exist um, and they don't have to be like acted on right they don't have to be changing the way i react or the way i do things bluff jug welcome in oh my god everyone amazing streamer if y'all aren't following bluff jug please do um one of one of the one of the homies what'd you say you're being so disrespectful <laughs> what did you say i'm so glad you're here bluff come on in sheesh Um, no, we have a good time over there, too. That is always a good stream. 
Up. I was losing my shit. Okay, <laughs> it was so funny. Um, I know I was wilding out in your chat bluff. I was like, dude, I was like, <laughs> he was wilding. He was wilding, right? I know we can uh, night or night night bot. <sighs> Fucking night bot, Anka. We know. I turned off caps lock. I was like, no, we want all the cats in here. Nightbot's like, F right off. You don't get what you want around here. You know this. Bitch, you know this. <laughs> oh, aggr <laughs> aggressive banana man. I cannot with y'all. Oh my god, it was so fun. It was so fun. Oh. ABM, no stop. <laughs> it was so funny. It was like, y'all want to see my OnlyFans content? I was like... I was like, whoa, don't be hating on OnlyFans. <laughs> I made some decent money with mine. <laughs> um, Anka's nickname is Chuckles. That's effing hilarious. My nickname in college was Chuckles. Chuck. My, my name's still on uh, Twitter, which I, I don't know. Can you not change your Twitter name? They're just like, you're stuck with this for life. Because <laughs> that's interesting. My Twitter name is still Chucklesaurus Rex. Do not, do not, because like the last thing I need is your girl to see that and then be like, mm -mm, this bitch, <laughs> fuck this bitch. Uh, <laughs> the la literally the last thing I need. I saw a picture of her. I was like, I'm not messing with you. <laughs> you know, you can just look at women and you're like, yep. <laughs> Yep. I'm not fucking around with you. <laughs> no. No. I'm done. You did not just say final boss vibes. <laughs> it really be like that, y'all. I'm gonna go shut Nightbot down. Can I unmod Nightbot right from here? You're unmodded, Nightbot. <laughs> Someone do that for me. <laughs> Somebody tell Nightbot to go F off. Um, unmod, yes. <laughs> Later, Nightbot, you piece of shit. <laughs> You guys have been so good about not swearing in today's stream. It's just like, nope. That's why we can't trust Nightbot. Nightbot, we can't trust him. <laughs> it's savage. It's savage around here. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, we need to finish our practice or I'm going to be late to work, unfortunately. Ready, go ahead and lift that right leg. Oh yeah, we're doing this one. Oh my god, we're balancing, you guys. We're in the middle of balancing wrecked. <laughs> KO'd, yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just type out a combo. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are killing me. Okay. We're gonna get comfortable. We're gonna finish our practice. Um... Lost all my health. Yeah, HP zero. Um, <laughs> just the Super Smash Bar Smash Bros part where you go flying off into the stars, <laughs> just becoming another planet. Ooh, have fun as a manager. Um, all right, I'm actually gonna go make sure that my stuff's all ready for work really quick and run a little ad because I don't want to be interrupted. I don't like it being interrupted. Oh, and we're at 4444. 
So I'm going to run a quick 90 second ad break, get some water, get some tea. Um, and I'm going to go make sure that everything's all ready for work for me. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. BRB. Sweet. Pre-rolls are disabled. Let's go. Like I said, we were about halfway through. Ooh, Poke Start. <coughs> you get to start your Pokemon journey with us. Um, I love the Pokemon community game. It's really fun. It will give you different um, commands to use and stuff to collect to start your collection so. Yes, um, so thank you so much hopefully you're all still here too um, we're gonna get balance on one leg um, for this move you do want to start just like on your tippy toes so um, you've got your left leg grounded right is firmly bent as well you want to really be putting all your weight onto this uh, leg and then you just start with your other foot tippy toes see if I can get back here so you can see it. So just start tippy toes, start gently lifting your leg up. Um, and we are just doing the same soaring. So as we move our leg up, we're moving our arms with our legs. Uh, definitely a tricky one for balance. This one takes some, um, some practice for sure. Finari. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, well, if whenever you can do it is totally fine. Hopefully it helps, and you don't have to do all the moves either. Sometimes you just do a few that help you, that make you feel better, so whatever you need, we're here for it. This is a great one if you have, like, if you want to boost your immune system, um, literally just gently tapping, you don't want to be hitting, but gently tapping your chest down the inside of your arm and then up the outside of that arm, so around your shoulders. That's a great one too if you work in an office. Really, really good for your shoulders. Ah. Nightbot, you've already been unmodded. You, can't, you don't have any power here anymore. <laughs> I hope, right? Now that Nightbot's been unmodded, they don't have power. Oh my God, that's so funny. Nightbot, you're still in here just like you're gonna make your rude comments. All right, well, I apologize. Ignore Nightbot. Nightbot has no power here anymore. <laughs> Nightbot. We're going to have some words after this. Arms come down, bend into the knee. And so, both directions, feeling that openness, moving through those meridians and energy points in the heel, the foot, this and is the just lower leg. If you're rotating your ankle, Coming which back is a to great the center. Way. You we'll do an exercise do called the crane soaring. Um, you can always do that from your desk as well. Uh, and I'll sit there a lot of times while I'm at my office, so while I'm working, um, and just do these moves. So just rotate my ankles while I'm sitting there on my desk. You know, be more aware of how my hips are turned or how I'm sitting. You know, am I, are my shoulders way up here? Like, can I roll my shoulders back? Can I do a little chest, um, do a little self-massage? If you ever have neck problems, interlacing your fingers with your thumbs down. Um, you can massage right in from the base of your skull all the way down to the top of your shoulders. Um, whether it be narrower, wider, literally all the way down from up here though is really where you want to focus on. That base of the skull holds so much tension that we don't recognize. Hello, Swinger. Glad to see you. Hello. Um, yes, welcome in. Thank you so much. Feeling particularly cute, <laughs> as usual. Um, I actually don't have my glasses on, so uh, I can only see so much. But we are going to go ahead and uh, finish up our practice, so we're about halfway through. I hope you join me. Then so your stand on your left leg and begin to wave the arms up and down as if you're floating in the air. When you're ready, go ahead and lift that right leg. As the arms come down, bend into the knee. As the arms come up, stand a little taller. Feel this lightness and energy moving through the body. And then let's try it on the other side. So standing on the right leg, on the left toes. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as the arms go down. And then balancing on one leg. Just draw in some lightness. Feel a sense of levity and relaxation in the body. And then we'll switch. Right leg up in the air. Inhaling, standing tall. Exhaling, sinking down, drawing the energy up and down through the body. We'll switch sides. Inhale, draw that left leg up. Exhale and come down. Again, floating through the air. The arms are relaxed. That right leg is firm and grounded. And we synchronize the movement of the leg with the movement of the arms left leg down and then standing with the arms in front of you palms face up let's inhale and draw the hands up over the head and exhale and circle around again nice deep breath as the hands come up over the head long exhale as the hands circle around <clears throat> this one's called the Buddha holds up the earth and establishes a deep breathing rhythm through the body that not only energizes the body and brings in more vitality, but it also helps to calm your mind and let go of old energy. We'll go a little bit deeper now into the stork spreads the feathers by bringing one hand up over the head and the other down. So here, bring your left hand up over your head and your right hand down and stretch and open your rib cage and switch. The breathing on this one is inhale into the stretch and feel the ribs opening. And exhale, spiral the arms, and inhale as you stretch and press the palms away from each other. And 
This opens the sides of the body. This is the liver meridian line, and it helps to clear any frustration or anger that gets stored in the body. Go back to that original movement. Buddha holds up the earth. Inhale and draw the hands up over the head. Exhale down to the sides. And then come back to the center. Now take the back of the hands towards each other and roll up the midline of the body and then circle the arms outward and down. Inhale as you come up and exhale down. This movement is called the fountain and is designed to train the body to move with flow rather than force. So feel your muscles relax, feel the spine open and bring good circulation and energy up the back and out through the arms. As you inhale, the hands come up. As you exhale and come down, the hips actually go back and then press forward as the hands come up. So hips are going back as the arms come down and waving and rolling up the spine and out through the arms as you come up. Then let's do it one arm at a time. So the left arm circles out and around right arm circles out and around so from the midline the hand comes up and we inhale exhale down from the midline the arm comes up on the deep breath and exhale down there's a little shifting of the weights almost this figure eight kind of movement through your hips and your waist and a floating and a chi feeling as you move the arms out to the sides moving the body with flow like water mm -hmm. rather than force and with tension. Dude, the boss vibes jokes and again, are just inhale, me. bring that arm up. Level 99 girlfriend, I'm done. And we'll come back to the center. The next movement is called Tai Chi opening. Float both arms up shoulder height and then float them down. Inhale as the arms come up and exhale and come down. There's this wave like quality through the back that originates from the hips. So as you get into this flow, we can start to relax through the hips and the spine a little bit more and feel that wave-like quality moving through the entire Exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, floating the arms up without tension. Start to increase that movement and range of motion from your hips. So the hips move forward and then the hips move back so that the movement, we say, comes from your center the hips and the waist. As the arms go up, the hips go back. And then as arms come down, the hips move forward. Synchronize the breath with the movement. Inhale and exhale. Hips go back, arms float up. Hips come forward, arms float down. Feel this wave-like quality rippling through the spine, sending energy waves out through the arms. Slow the movement down, relax the hips and the waist. And come back to the center. Now we'll draw both hands upward through the midline of the body and then out and around. The back of the hands come towards each other and together and then circle out to the sides. This draws energy up from the center of the body all the way up through the internal organs to the top of the head and then out and around to the sides. Gather energy as the arms come up and just let go of any tension or stress, any energy you no longer need. Let it go on that long exhale as the hands come down. This movement is called fireworks and is said to bring clear chi up to the brain. And begin to move a little bit from your hips and your waist, a turning or a spiraling from your hips and your waist as the arms come up. Arms go out and down to the sides, and as they're coming up, just spiral from your hips and your waist, coax that clear chi up to your brain, and then out to the sides. Inhale, spiral, feel the spine open, draw the arms up, exhale down and around, and again, dip into that energy, spiraling, feel the movement through the spine, out through the arms. This helps to enliven and invigorate your internal energy Exhale, relax and come down. Inhale and spiral. Flow as you come up. And then bring the hands to the center, holding a ball of energy. And begin to do a circular movement. 
The name of this movement is turning the wheel. So we'll start with a small circular movement right around your abdomen and just draw some energy up through the spine, through the abdominal area, and down. Like a water wheel moving inside of you, circulating that internal chi and life force through the internal organs. And drawing so circulation and energy through key feels great. pressure so points along the back channel and the front channel. <laughs> What's going on? What's this good? channel circulates chi through the yin and the yang energies of the body. This will so we're just doing one called water wheel, which like I said, I know it looks weird, but this one feels amazing on your spine. So you're literally just bringing your arms up and pushing it out by your stomach, right? Little, uh, I always think of a train, like a locomotive. <laughs> That's what I think of. Um, <laughs> can this Qigong gain an ability to a lev levitate or even perhaps to fly? Absolutely. Absolutely. It can cure every disease. Um, <laughs> you'll be able to fly. Uh, X-ray vision. Um, invisibility, if you're into that. <laughs> uh, pokey start to start. Woo. What? Oh, <laughs> there you go. Ooh, nice. A little tea pig. Um, okay, so <laughs> you're all amazing and I love you. Uh, but definitely recommend trying this. I need a new microphone. That's all it really is. I need a new microphone. I bought this one secondhand and I'm kind of PO'd that I did. So, oh. <gasps> There's D. Hi, D. I was just thinking about you. I was like, wow, his birthday's coming up really soon. <laughs> um, it's so good to see you. Welcome in. So we are just about, what time is it? Hang on a second. Yeah, okay. We are, we've got about 10 minutes left to our practice. We're getting there. Kicks Nightbot. Yeah, Nightbot, Nightbot does not approve of the cats and I remember turning that off and I'm sure you did too because we all love caps lock around here um what if I'm going to stealth mode and like cloak herself with chi meditations one time oh my god I totally was saying that as a joke um wow dude honestly though like this practice has already done things for me that I never would have guessed it would do like made my under eye circles pretty much go away and like made my like skin clear up help me feel younger help my body move better like allowed me to have more fun in my life because i'm not in pain all the time right like if you live with chronic pain like especially uh back pain knee knee and joint pain run in my family a lot like um you just live in pain all the time you don't live your life fully and so this practice has like brought more life to me where I can I'm in a better mood like I'm not a crabby bitch all the time because I'm not in pain all the time like my mind isn't thinking about like pain or pain relief or whatever throughout the day so my brain can be more active to spend time focusing on the people that I love and being present with them rather than um you know sitting there applying like CBD lotion all day like I used to be I totally different life, totally different life that I was living. So I can't recommend this enough. And you guys didn't know me before. Uh, the people who knew me before know. <laughs> um, I was not, not a fun person to be around. I mean, sometimes I was, but not all the time. Not like I am now. Um, look at the person's elbow and high-fiving. Has anyone ever high-fived with any confidence? <laughs> yes, it's true. You look at the other person's elbow and then you're doing it, you're like, this isn't gonna work. And then you're like, whoop bam And you're like, wow, that's the best high five of my freaking life. Um, <laughs> I'm super fun now. Um, <laughs> no, I was, I was probably, I was okay in college. I wasn't great though. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could. I wish I could be like, man, y'all would have loved me. Like, no, I'm genuinely glad none of you knew me back then. <laughs> realistically I was not ready to be friends with you guys <laughs> um <laughs> these ancient high five secrets I know you know who taught me that um I used to be a youth mentor for the spiritual gathering and the kids that I was a uh, mentor or like I was like the basically it was like Sunday school for non-religious people so I was like the leader of the Sunday school so yeah those the kids that at, were at my group 
taught me that. And I was like, wow, y'all are amazing. She was just meditating and saying to herself, I am your grass. And Diva walked right past her without seeing her laying there. <gasps> That's so cool. <laughs> Anka. <laughs> y'all are awesome. Oh my god, that is so cool. Um, I don't even know what to say to that. That, like, just like opened up a whole like plethora of memories in my brain right now about like my childhood and how I used to feel like I used to feel invisible but not in like a sad pity me invisible way but in a way that was like if I wanted to be the center of attention I could be if I wanted to just be like background character and just like observe and listen like I can do that really well too so it was just like my childhood was so cool because it was such a combination of like me learning I learned so many things just from being around there and like just from like the, the things I watched and saw yeah childhood is weird especially growing up in the 90s y'all we had like we had a whole different world now like you can't do anything without it being recorded by somebody's smartphone like we did not have that fear growing up of like everything being documented like shoot we were lucky if we had like a couple pictures in a photo album like <laughs> that's what i looked like as a kid that's amazing now it's like kids can't kids whole lives are documented from the moment they're born twitch is fraud okay i have mimicked his movements and breathing i'm now ready to fly i'll test it on the real thing too well oh my goodness don't really fly this doesn't teach you to fly unless you are um starting from the ground you have to start from the ground. Rip to everything we did in the 90s that no one will ever know about. Yes, I'm born in the 90s. If it happened in the 90s, it stayed in the 90s. Legit. I got a BRB. One second. Okay, you don't stop. Unfortunately, I do have to go back to work, so we gotta actually finish this practice. <laughs> 90 squad cheers sleepily. <laughs> Love it so much. Oh my god, y'all. Alright, let's go. Open your microcosmic orbit, a pathway that goes... Oh yeah, like I said, this one looks weird, but it totally works, so I recommend just try it. Just stand up and try it. Not a lot of work. Oh, bye, Anka. Love you. I know I have to go back to work, too. My break is over, technically, but I'm taking 10 minutes of personal time to finish the practice, so I love you guys. Butt spot. What? <laughs> Thanks, D. All right. I love you so much. Oh, Nightbot. <laughs> Suplex is Nightbot. Got him. Just doing the spine and down the front of the body. <laughs> Bring the arms up just a little bit higher now. So chest level. Draw energy up the spine as the hands go up. And push it forward towards the heart and back down to the lower abdomen. Like a water wheel turning from the spine up to the chest. And back down from the chest to the lower abdomen around the pelvic floor. Feel this internal energy recycling inside you. By recycling your internal energy, you're going to increase the level of vitality and life force that you have within. And now bring the hands up a little bit higher so that it comes around through the throat area. Again, inhaling up and exhaling forward. A chi rising up through the spine, flowing through the throat and back down that front channel. Opening the throat channel helps to connect the mind and the body. <laughs> Next, take the hands all the way up over and around the head, circulating the chi in that full microcosmic orbit. That pathway goes up the spine, 
through the head and down the front of the body. So the full water wheel turning inside of you. The back of the body is called the sea of yang energy. It's for activity, for clear thinking and mental focus. The front of the body is called the sea of yin energy. And it's for emotional balance and centering. Bring the hands to the center of the body. And now we'll take them up over the head. Drop down to the heart center where the first finger and the thumb touch. From the heart center, push forward all the way down and then circle up toward the heart center with the fingers open. Let's do that again. Inhale as the hands come up. First finger and thumb touch. Exhale from the heart center, forward and down. Draw that energy up, the fingertips open. This is called the Lotus Exercise, and it's a Buddhist Qigong flow that's designed to create loving kindness through the heart center. So as you're drawing the arms up, this is the Lotus Flower position. Then as you drop the hands down and circle, you're opening to receive the energy of the universe, sending it forward from the heart center, and then drawing it again up into the heart center from the earth. The breathing is inhale, the hands up over the head, and exhale as you come forward from the heart center. And inhale as you draw the hands up to the chest. Exhale and drop down, opening to receive the gifts from the universe, pulling it into our heart centers and sending it out to the world. And then drawing it up from the earth back into the heart center and just letting it flow. This one's a nice exercise to send energy out from your heart space into anybody or any place that you might think needs a little extra compassionate energy. From here, just hold the hands by the heart center. Take a couple of nice, long, deep breaths. Feel the heart opening. Move it up, side. We're holding it here at the first position. And move the hands forward and down. And hold the lotus position with the hands and fingers face up at the chest. Again, some nice deep breaths. Fill up your heart and your chest with more vital life force energy. Breathe into it. Starting the day emotionally clear and internally balanced. Draw the hands up over the head and back down. Inhale as you bring the hands up. Exhale as you bring the hands down. This is called pulling down the heavens. Feel yourself up with more life force energy. So Dante, thank you for subscribing. D, are you gifting subs? D. In Qigong, we say be open and receptive Stop. for all the energy to flow through you. I love Whatever you. quality Stop of energy it. you might need today, <laughs> just allow it to flow through you. Inhale, arms up, be open to receive. Exhale, feel just a nice wave of relaxation moving from the top of the head and downward. Thank Bring you both so hands much. to the top of the head That's and the fingertips sweet. together, and then pulse the hands. So as you inhale, too. the hands open. <laughs> jug, as you exhale, the hands squeeze together. <laughs> inhale and exhale. I'm not. <laughs> oh my god. Standing a little taller on that inhale. Bending the knees, pulsing through the hands as you exhale. Good, and now draw the hands down to the heart center. Let's do some pulsing at the heart center. Open the fingers and the hands, and then exhale and feel the palms come together. Inhale and open. Exhale, bend the knees, palms together. He's like, five dollars, I got five dollars. pulsing and wave-like energy through the heart. Chi moves in either vibration or pulsation. So here we're activating the pulsing energy within your body. And we'll bring the hands down to the lower abdomen. The same thing here, pulsing the chi through the lower dantian, the lower reservoir of power and energy from the abdomen through the rest of the body. Inhale and let the hands expand. Exhale, squeeze the palms together. They say that the lower Dantian is the inner elixir of Qi. So when it pulses and radiates, it brings healing energy to all various places of the body. Spread the hands apart 
and just feel the chi between your palms. Energy and life force extends in and around the body. So here we're gonna bring the hands a little closer together and a little further apart. And this activates the yin and yang energy within the hands and within the body. From here, take the hands up to the chest into a posture called embracing the tree. It's a standing and meditative posture. Like a tree, feel a sense of being connected down through the floor into the earth, a sense of energy rising up through the spine, like the <laughs> trunk of the tree, strong but flexible. Yeah, I'm on. And the Oops. arms are like the branches of a tree. They're soft and fluid and flowing, but still connected to the branch, connected down to the earth through the roots. Take some nice, long, deep breaths here. Feel as if your whole entire body is breathing. A tree, all the leaves of the body take in light and breathe. So here, feel as if your whole entire body is breathing. You can bring your arms down into a lower embracing the tree posture, down by the lower abdomen. Same thing here, deep breathing. Oat milk? See the leaf. <laughs> Look at you, you can see how much my friend love my friends love caps lock. Stop at night, Bob. yourself caps just lock gently rock and sway <laughs> like a tree in the wind. The wind here is the internal chi that's circulating inside of you. So as you relax, that chi circulates and flows. <laughs> and you can relax into this gentle rock and sway. <gasps> so our knees should be pretty bent here, everyone. I'll just tilt this down so you can see. Oh. Here, bring your hands down to your side. sides. You're just embracing the tree. <laughs> we'll do our centering movement now. We'll bring one hand underneath the lower Four abdomen months. and the and other circulating days. and flowing down the front channel, wow. down through the throat and heart. What Deep breath, thing. gathering Thank your you. energy. Thank you Feel it connecting your mind, you your heart, and your body together. With this one, we're just breathing in, scooping up that energy. Qigong creates an integration of qi, where the mind and the body feel more harmonious and balanced. This movement brings energy to the center of the body. When we're centered, we are balanced. Our emotions are calm and connected. Our mind is rooted in the lower abdomen, and our body is full of life force. This creates the harmony and balance, a relaxed mental state and emotional state, but the body full of life force energy. Bring both hands over your lower abdomen now. Take some nice, long, deep breaths into the center. Relax down through your legs and into the earth. This movement is called bamboo in the wind. So like embracing the tree, just allow yourself to rock and sway, flowing with this life force energy that's moving inside of you. Don't try to force or manipulate the rocking and swaying just relax into it. Let it happen organically from the inside out. This way your body is given a chance to unwind and come back to a place of being centered and balanced. My brain wants to say, 11 days, that's my longest twitch relationship ever. Inhale, <gasps> relax, exhale, let go. I'm sitting here laughing at my Feel own jokes. Feel the movement <laughs> just flowing from your center outward. Just take two or three nice, long, deep breaths back to your center. Notice how your body feels. And take this feeling of full vitality and mental relaxation with you into the rest of your day. What a blessing. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for being here. That is that's my longest relationship in years. <laughs> um wow drink some water eat a snack stretch i mean it i'm gonna do those things as well thank you brooms thank you so much <laughs> she knows hell yeah hell yeah because this shit is real and also um a lot of my guy friends who um, are big into breath work and um, 
like absolutely <laughs> um big into breath work and like semen retention and basically uh improving their ability to function sexually um and they do qigong because it does it helps recirculate all that good energy in our bodies um helps us uh, if our breath work is better we can actually last longer like it has all these benefits that you wouldn't think of um that might not be the initial reason that you started doing qigong but you start to realize like our breath is interconnected with every system in our body and as we can move our bodies, move this energy, move our breath with the energy through our bodies. We're improving every internal circulatory, you know, our circulatory system, our digestive system, pretty much every organ in your body is gonna function better. We do a lot of different pressure points for like liver, gallbladder, spleen, um, the tendon point in our body, like all these different things that you wouldn't think of that help with insomnia, depression, emotional balance, staying more calm, staying more centered, like, um, there's a whole bunch of, thank you, honey, look, see, you're such a real one. Um, <laughs> so, yes, absolutely. Well, and I, I was a big person who would tell everybody to meditate, but then not actually meditate myself, because I just had this whole idea that, like, you know, I'd have to set up a meditation room or, like, get out, I have, you know, you have all these weird things that your brain tells you why you can't do something. Like, I can't meditate because I don't have 45 minutes to set aside. Um, but I started doing just like a two minute timer where I'm just like, hey Google, set a timer for two minutes. And I'll just, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, if I'm doing the dishes, if I'm um, folding laundry or something, and I'll just sit there and breathe, focus on my breath. My brain gets wild with thoughts and things. And I'm just like, about breathing so then I just redirect my brain back to my breath and give my brain a couple minutes without being like um, all stressed out about the day worrying and anxious and stuff just give myself time to breathe call it good I know night bots night bots on a rampage <laughs> dude that's a thing though D and I set up the bot and like I specifically remember because him and I both love caps locks so I was like we're not gonna nobody gets timed out for using caps lock bot I remember turning this off I did this <laughs> right bot <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah night bot's just taking everyone out y'all we'll figure it out today lol is caps yeah because it's lol it's lol lol but it's in <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're gonna get this fixed. Be back at the smoke. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it was definitely really, I mean, it was me. <laughs> I did it. I mean, it was suggested to me by Dee, but I definitely set it up. That's why I remember. I'm gonna have to go back on there. Maybe I checked the one that said, I must have checked it that said, I must have accidentally clicked the wrong button. I did the opposite of what I thought I was doing. That happens. That's called human error, everyone. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, okay, I gotta get to work. I gotta I gotta really go to work. I love you all so much. Um, who are we rating? Who do we feel? Who's on right now? Um, crap, I'm late. <gasps> I'm so over it. They're, I gotta be on phones today, you guys. Can you believe it? The only thing that makes all of this is it. Okay, so wonderful you are. <laughs> Aww. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Anon, I know you missed it. I'm sorry. Um, Anka, you're the best. Oat milk is on? Oat milk is on? Odie. No. Oh, Benetron's on. Oh, good. <gasps> oh, shoot. Or we could do, um, we could hang out with Spirit within the human form, who's doing a cooking stream right now. Um, Benetron is playing The Binding of Isaac, which is my, one of my personal favorite games. No, <laughs> they were just, they were just saying hi to you. You were just being greeted. Um, The Tea Lounge is on. She's a phenomenal reader, reads the tea leaves, which is really cool to see. Um, Sean Cuts Taya, he's in. Um, really cool barber that I found. I think he's in Texas, I want to say. Uh, pretty interesting. Fun to watch. Divination Station's doing ASMR. 
We got a lot of people on, y'all. That's like a fraction of what I'm reading, so I'm skipping past all the big name terrestrial plays. ASMR is a real mommy ego, which I love supporting, but I also feel like some, like, you should be, oh, <laughs> it's just because all your exes live in Texas, B, and that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We can, there, Texas is a big state, okay? <laughs> I'm sure we could avoid them if we need to. Um... I know, can you believe it? Who are all of you? <laughs> Who are all, all my friends? Y'all are amazing. This is my, this is the hardest part of my day. So I am, um, oh, Andrew Garcia is playing music right now, which is fun. Oh my goodness, you guys. We're gonna raid. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Somebody help me. <laughs> I feel like we, we end up raiding Benetron a lot just because I'm like, well, I'm going to be over there anyway, so let's go. I'm just scrolling back and forth like it's going to help me for some reason. Born to Grind. I don't think he's ever not streaming. What, babe? What'd I miss? Olive's Crossing. Aw. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Dee's like, I'm just going to spam it till she looks up. <laughs> thank you. This is not a person I follow. Let's see. She's a partner though. She looks really sweet and adorable and she's definitely beautiful, but I, oh, not that I don't want to raid partners, but I do try to, um, like, like we, I've, I've got some friends in here right now with one viewer, two viewers. So I don't want to, that's my only, that's my only thought right there is like Spirit, who hardly ever streams, only has two viewers, Divination Station, who, Unfortunately, just lost her job and is going to streaming full time uh, as a single mom. And I kind of want to raid her as well. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of what's holding me up right now. I do want to show love to some people who are kind of needing it. Let's go right over to Divination Station. She's great. Super sweetheart. I know. She's so, she literally, I just found out that she just lost her job pretty recently. So, um, and unfortunately, things happen, and COVID's been ridiculous, so, oh my god, that reminds me. I need to go to my job so I don't get, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Divination, Olive Crossing, I'm pretty sure this is all I like. Thank you so much. Uh, copy and paste the raid message. Um, D, you're awesome. Thank you for being so awesome. <laughs> Effing Nightbot, you guys. I swear to God. <laughs> Hello, Big J. Welcome in. We are just about to raid out, but thanks for being here. Thank you so much. You too. Everybody have a great day. <laughs> I will. I'm on it. I love you guys so much. We'll fix it. We'll love it. <laughs> Budspot was going to be really cute, and Budspot instead is all messed up. I'm good. I'm good. We're literally just about to raid out to my friend Divination Station. Um, show her some love. Great human being. Super sweetheart. Um, stop it, D. Stop. No, 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 no. We said that you're going to cut that out. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Big love. Stay well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Drink some water. Drink some tea. That's what I'm having. Oops. Oops. Sure. His finger slipped. Yeah. Twice. Three times. How many? You gotta press OK a lot. <laughs> you gotta press OK a lot to buy those subscriptions. 
I hope you're at least on your computer and not on your phone doing it. Don't buy subs on your phone. They charge you an extra dollar and then they charge you extra tax for the phone store. Bye.